there. Finally, the Tokyo Olympics 2020 came in 2021. This is quite unprecedented. The delay was due to the pandemic, which has affected our lives at so many levels. But the great thing is we were able to get the Olympics 2020 in the last few days. We were glued to our screens for nearly 10 days, watching the Tokyo Olympics, celebrating the winners, and of course celebrating our own Kenyan winners who brought several gold medals, as well as silver and bronze. Success in the Olympics means winning. It means trophies and medals. Some people win gold, others win silver, and others bronze. In Kenya, we were lucky to have all three categories. But most importantly, being a participant is an achievement in itself in these great events. I'm Catherine Gaho from SBO Research. Thank you for tuning into my channel, Elevators, where we offer elevating and empowering messages to help you grow in life, career, and business. In this video, I want to talk about seven success habits of Olympics winners. The habits we can learn from Olympics winners, which we can use for our own growth. Do like this video and stay with me to the end. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and share this video with your social circles. I'm still struggling to grow my channel and to bring in more people. So please help by sharing it with those you think might need it. Now the process of getting to the Olympics is a rigorous one as it seeks to ensure that one meets the high global standards. It also seeks to ensure that the country sends its best team with the high chances of winning. Of course, countries know that if you don't put together your best team, you are basically shooting yourself in the foot because they are going to go and compete with the best and your chances of winning will depend on the quality of the people you take. So you must take your best. Of course, there are always issues in that process of selection. Now, there are so many lessons to learn from these global standard sportsmen and women. But in this video, I want to focus on the success habits that we can learn from them. What habits do they persistently follow? I drew out several habits that these Olympians have demonstrated as they do practice and even during the final event. These habits are relevant to any area in which we are seeking to seek growth. And that is why I thought we can all use this because we are all looking to succeed in one area or another. It doesn't matter what area it is, where you are seeking success, but I believe if you are living and not just existing, you are seeking to thrive in one area or another. And from that, we can all learn something and benefit from this. First, let me say that habits are things you do repeatedly, things you do habitually, daily, monthly, as a routine, and um, they are powerful. Habits are powerful influencers of outcomes, and they play a major role in harnessing the winning spirit. I like what John Dryden said, that we first make our habits and then our habits make us. So now let's go straight to the seven success habits we can learn from these Olympic winners. The first is that they start with the end in mind. They decide that they are playing to win. They do not go there to double. They are committed, they are serious. They go there to win. They set clear goals and standards. They recognize the power of this statement by Tony Robbins that setting goals is the first step in turning the invisible to visible. They define exactly what they want and they clarify the reason why they deserve it, why they deserve to win. This strong focus on winning is what gives them the strength to keep pushing forward when the competition is neck to neck, neck to neck. I hope you are watching these Olympics and you saw how it could be so close. And even there was a case where somebody started celebrating ahead of time. And then in the time they were relaxing and celebrating in one of the races, somebody just came and took the gold. 
and they were left with the silver. So starting with the end in mind is uh, something we can all apply in whatever it is we are trying to win. Now second is they practice the habit of self-discipline. They do what they need to do even if it's hard. They practice even if it's difficult. They practice, actually maybe they do it because it's difficult. Sometimes it's so taxing when you look at the things they do that uh, you actually might say they practice even when it's hard, but they also practice whether it's raining, whether it is hot, whether it is humid, no matter what. Like in this Tokyo, they said it was so humid and it was the temperatures and the humidity levels were so high, yet people were able to compete in these games and compete and win. So they choose to practice and do what's beneficial to their craft instead of focusing on irrelevant chatter. Eliud Kipchoge, the winner of the men's marathon at the Tokyo Olympics, has been described by some as one of the most disciplined men in sports. One commentator described him as totally disciplined. He even said that Kipchoge lives like a monk, totally disciplined and committed to his craft. One of the things I learned recently about uh, commitment is says that if you are committed, it's not the same as just being interested. To be committed means that you do it regardless of the challenges, that you don't give excuses, you just get up and do it. As compared to if you're interested, you do it when it's easy, when it's fun and all that. So these are Olympics winners are self-disciplined and they are able to consistently do what they need to do to keep moving forward. They repeat and repractice until it becomes second nature to them and uh, becomes a habit. Jim Ron captured what these Olympics winners know very well in a great statement. He said that we must suffer one of two things, the pain of discipline or the pain of regret. The difference is that the pain of discipline weighs in ounces while that of regret weighs in tons. So when they step out, these Olympians, they put their best foot forward. Can we do the same in our own areas of growth, where we are seeking growth? I hope we can, but that's a lesson we can learn from them. Number three, they prioritize the most important tasks. They use their time well to succeed in the Olympics and in other endeavors, one must commit to practice. These Olympians practice for hours, for days, for weeks, for years to be able to get to the level where they can go to compete with the world. They plan in advance for their practice. They manage what they eat, they do everything to ensure that nothing compromises their performance. They recognize that hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work. I think that's one of the greatest things we can learn from them because many times we have talent in something but we don't wake up and push or use it and so when it doesn't work, we don't get the result. Fourth, they persist no matter what. They never give up. They exercise and practice all the time. They do it even when it's hard, even when it's hot or humid, even when it's raining, even when there is pain. They have a mentality and mindset of persistence. They give their all to their craft and they are not frustrated by competition. They appreciate the statement by Albert Einstein that says that in the middle of difficulty lies opportunity. Fifth, they learn from their experiences. They are open-minded and keep learning. They take complete responsibility for their success and commit to learning everything they need to learn in order to win. If something doesn't work, they don't give up. They just ask, what can I learn from this experience? They keep learning and they read and listen to audiobooks and watch videos to learn how to do their sport. In fact, in Kenya, there is a case of uh, one of the representatives who went to do javelin. He learned the craft on YouTube. He had great interest, there was nobody training it, and he had to learn for himself. Mr. Yego, a great spirit of learning. When you listen to Eric Kipchoge talk, you also hear him talk a lot about 
the learnings, especially when he was uh, preparing for Ineos. He gave a lot of interviews and uh, the Ineos challenge of uh, running the marathon under two hours, which explains a lot. He talked a lot about learning, the things he had to learn in order to be able to achieve that feat. So they don't let the fear of losing also get greater than the excitement of winning. So they keep at it. I believe we can all learn something from that. We all need to keep learning. Let me tell you, no matter what I find in my life, whatever it is I want, I've realized I have to learn so much. Even things that many people assume I know, but I have had to learn. That's how I know. The sixth is that they are enthusiastic about it. They are enthusiastic. Olympic winners are clearly enthusiastic and passionate. They are excited about their sport. It was Charles Schwab who said that a man can succeed at almost anything for which he has unlimited enthusiasm. So they do what they love and they celebrate their wins with great joy and enthusiasm. I think that's something we can all learn to bring enthusiasm into our dreams or into whatever it is we want to achieve, into our goals and the like. The seventh is they have a strategy, a way to win. They find a way to win. They break down their goals into strategies and tactics. And that is, uh, they consider what does it take? Strategy actually means what to do. And tactics is how to do it. And they look at all this and they create strategies and tactics that will help them win. They are strategic. They don't waste time on irrelevant activities. They keep on course and commit to their sport. They appreciate the quote by Sanzu that says that strategy without tactics is the slowest route to victory. And that tactics without strategy is the noise before defeat. So we can all learn a lot from these Olympics winners and these lessons apply to any area of life. Any area you are trying to grow, we can all develop these habits and apply them so that we can all be winners in life, career or business. Do comment below about the one which resonates with you. Write a comment below. Let me know what resonates with you. And to sum up, the seven success habits of Olympics winners are first, they start with the end in mind. Second, they practice the habit of self-discipline. Third, they prioritize the most important tasks. Fourth, they persist no matter what. Fifth, they learn from their experiences. Sixth, they are enthusiastic about it. And seventh, they have a strategy, a way to win. Thank you for staying with me. Do like this video. Please do share this video with several people. Help me reach out to more people who can use my content and who would benefit from it. Do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And thank you so much. And best wishes. We all need to elevate our mindsets at this time.